this video you should have the quadcopter looking something like this uh, you'll have all the motors on the, I'll turn it over the motors are on speed controllers are installed the LEDs are installed and there is a power uh, the power is being distributed uh, to all the speed controllers and uh, the power modules installed but I'm going to start with the motors um, I've just unboxed one basically in the box you get the motor uh, the wires are very long which is practical for some people but in this build most of it's going to get cut off uh, you get a little motor plate um, a mount for the propellers um, on a side note you can order these as well in counter rotating thread I've not done that but it might be a, a good option to, to have that you get the screws to mount this to the motor, these little black ones, and you get these little screws here, and these screws are designed to go through this plate here and into the motor. However, they are actually too short to go through the arm and into the motor. And you could, you have two options. You could either countersink the holes and mount them, or do as I did. I had some, some more screws in my, uh, in my box here, and I'm gonna use these. Right, I've got one motor on now, I uh, forgot to mention before, I'm using uh, the same as before, Loctite on all the screws. Um, the wires, I'm going to put them down through this first hole in the arm, in this corner. I'm just going to let them look through there at the minute. I'm not really going to do anything at the minute with them, I'll come, to them, come back to them in a minute. screws and everything back in the bag because you might need them later. Uh, the black ones you'll definitely need for the propeller uh, adapter. And just keep them safe. Um, I'm going to mount the motors now, all four of them as I've just shown you there and then I'll uh, we'll skip on to the uh, the speed controllers. Now all the motors are on, it's time to install the speed controllers. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the whole quad over and I'm going to work on this arm right now. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to install the speed controller and the LED strip for a start. Um, the LED strip, what I've basically done is I've cut a piece off and in this case I folded it over and I'm going to mount it in there like that with two LEDs pointing down and one LED pointing up. The speed controller is going to fit in there in like that with the sticker pointing downwards. They're going to be mounted on with cable ties uh, just through the frame. Right, I've now installed one speed controller. Basically I'll put the starts with the LEDs, glue the LEDs in. The wire goes into the middle, which is this wire here. I've just routed that through the middle of the arm between the two legs that go down, um, along with the speed controller wire. Um, um, on the speed controller itself, I actually cut off the heat shrink and uh, soldered the motor wires directly to the board itself. I just cut off these, uh, this is the excess wire that cuts off, you get about 25 centimeters of excess wire. Right, so I've now got all the speed controllers on and all the LEDs, they've all been tested, all the LEDs have been tested, the speed controllers have not been tested yet, um, and they've not been, I'm going to do the calibration all together on the speed, on the APM when it's installed. Um, I'm going to now concentrate on making the power harness. Okay, so basically the first step is on this speed controller here, which is opposite the power module, the power module is going to fit on this side. You need to remove the two wires, the two original power wires. And what I've done is taken two of these excess wires from the motors and soldered the red and the positive onto the corresponding pads 
Um, one thing I would advise to reduce interference is to twist the wires. Um, that's the first step. The next step is going to be to carry on these wires twisted to here where they're then going to get another set of these wires soldered onto the pads. So you should have a, a clean a clean bridge from this speed controller to this speed controller and another set of wires ready to make the next bridge to this speed controller. Right, so now I've wired wired in these connectors into these and now I've got two more sets of two more wires coming off this speed controller now which are then going to go over to here. Um, like I say, I always twist the wires because it reduces interference and I also added uh, some braiding. Uh, you can get this braiding from Hobby King and you just cut it off and a bit of heat shrink on either end. It just makes it look neater but it's, it's optional really, you don't need to do it. You can just twist the wires and you could wrap them in heat shrink. Uh, I'm now going to route these wires through the top and I'm going to turn it over and these wires are going to come through here like this obviously twisted and also with the braiding and they're going to be soldered onto this controller. Now I've done basically the same as before. I've got the, the wire bridged over to this speed controller again in the braided uh, um, with the braided plastic. Um, I've now got two wires coming off this speed controller which I'm then going to twist and braid and bring them over to this speed controller and then from this one they're going to go to the power module. Okay so now I've got it all wired in, the braided ho the braided wires come through here through each speed controller and they'll now come to this speed controller which is the final uh, the final wiring to do to the power uh, the, power, the power module. Um, basically I'm going to route the power module wires through there like that and I'm going to leave two spare wires coming into here because we're going to need power for the gimbal and the uh, FPV uh, transmitter and I'm also going to change this plug. Um, right so now I've got it all wired in basically I've, uh, I've changed the plug on the power module I've also on the output side of the power module I've left two uh, wires that are unused at the minute and they're going to be used for the uh, step down regulators for the transmitter and the, um, the gimbal and there's also from the power module I've installed this uh, wire which comes with the power module to power the Archer Pilot. Um, the, um, the power module is just attached with a tie wrap there is a hole pre-drilled in the bottom there and you just tie, tie the tie wrap around there and it's securely in place makes a convenient uh, connection of the battery. Right, so that's it for this video we've now installed the motors, the LEDs and the speed controllers the power module is also installed and it's set up with a nice um, power harness. I'm going to call it a harness. Basically, the wires have been routed from one speed controller to the other until it gets to the power module. You've got these two wires here, which are going to be handled in the next video. They're for the uh, voltage step down regulator. Before I mentioned that we are going to use the excess wire from the uh, motors to make the power harness. I've actually tested that now and the wire got a little bit warm so I've decided to use an um, 18 gauge wire I'm going to put this in the parts list as well um, instead, of, uh, instead of this wire, it's a little bit thin in my opinion uh, and it's better to, to up that a little bit from the 16 to the 18 um, just keep that in mind when, built, when watching this video because in the video I mentioned that we're, gonna, that we're using this wire and that's that's incorrect.